Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, You are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, Skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. What is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we're here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the websites, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, be in business for yourself, earn thank you checks, and help change the world at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health and wellness. Nothing else matters if we don't have our health, and getting on a supplement program is step number one to getting healthy. Got to do other things too, of course. It's not just getting on a supplement program, but Getting on a supplement program represents one of the most powerful strategies you can ever pick for getting healthy, getting better, getting stronger, getting off your meds, losing weight. And that's what Longevity is all about. If you're interested, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you're in the Sacramento area, I will be doing a talk Sunday, June the 10th. That's this coming Sunday, 11 a.m. at the Orangevale Community Center, 6826 Hazel Avenue, 6826 Hazel Avenue. And that's in Orangevale, California, zip 95662. Please call Jay Ingalls at 916-712-9504. That's 916-712-9504. For more info, we'll be talking about the simplicity of good health if you're have diabetes or arthritis, autoimmune problems, God forbid, cancer, heart disease, you want to prevent these things from happening, and you're in the Sacramento area, we're going to be talking about how simple and how easy it can be. Certainly, we're going to talk about the longevity supplements and longevity products, but it'll be a lot of lifestyle ideas and concepts. It's entertaining. It'll be entertaining, and uh, you will leave smarter than when you came in. That's my mission in life, folks, is to help people be better, smarter, more effective at living their lives whenever they interact with me. And that's what I do in all my talks. That's what I do in my radio program. That's what I do with my professional and personal life. And you will guaranteed be smarter and better able to take care of your body if you come Sunday, June 10th uh, at at 12, at 12.30 p.m. when we finish um, compared to at 11 a.m. when we begin. Call Jay at 916-712-9504 for more info. And that's this Sunday, June 10th in Orangevale, California. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. Good to have you. And we're going to continue talking about high aluronic acid, the miracle carbohydrate, miracle sugar. It's a long sugar. It's not like a sugar like we're used to thinking about sugars. It's a long-chain sugar. 
it's in, uh, has benefits for skin health, for bone building, for bodybuilding, for tissue recovery, post-surgery. These are all ways that hyaluronic acid supplementation can be helpful. The best ways to get your hyaluronic acids from food, from cartilage, bone broth, bone broth uh, um, and bone broth, well, bone, uh, uh, chicken, chicken bones dissolved in water, and, uh, and then you just drink the broth. The broth is a hyaluronic acid drink with other things in there as well. Seafood is also a good way to get your hyaluronic acid. As it turns out, so are snails. Yes, snails. More accurately, snail slime. Technically, snail mucus or as it's known as snail secretion filtrate. Perhaps you've heard of this. It's the latest rage in skincare. Snail secretion filtrate, snail snot. Basically, that's what it is. If you look at it, it's snail snot. Every year or two in the, the uh, skincare world is rocked with some fad, some latest and greatest ingredient. Typically what will happen is you get an ingredient, it'll get promoted, it'll get marketed. Uh, by one company, maybe you'll, you'll hear, start reading about it in the newspaper. It'll catch on for a little bit. Then other companies will start to include that ingredient in their products and in their marketing. The bigger companies will get involved. And, and then a few years later, depending on how effective the ingredient is or the class of ingredients are, this magical fad substance will fade into oblivion. Or if it works, it'll go mainstream. Peptides, glycolic acid, alpha hydroxy acids, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid. These are all examples of ingredients that have started off as fads and they survive the test of time. Other ingredients like guano, bat excrement or bird poop. Yes, bird poop. Remember a couple years ago, that was the latest fad. There were women who were going into the very fancy salons in Europe and getting bird poop facials and guano, bat, bat poop facials. These didn't catch on so well. And, you know, understandably, I suppose. But if they worked, they probably would have. At the beginning of the 20th century, after uh, radiation was discovered by Madame Curie, who ended up dying, by the way, of radiation poisoning, uh, after uh, she discovered it, it wasn't long before skincare companies started to leverage the supposed cosmetic benefits of radium. It was called radioactive skincare. There was an ad that uh, you can get on the internet for a line of cosmetic creams from the early 20th century that claimed that if you used uh, Radior skin cream, which is a, a, a radio, radioactive radiation containing, had radium in it. Radium is an element on the periodic table that emits radiation. So this Radior skin cream had radium in it. And there was an ad that I found on the internet from some New York tabloid magazine that said, quote, where the skin has become wrinkled or tired, the radioactive forces immediately take effect on the nerves and tissues. Yeah, I'll bet. A continuous current of energy flows into the skin, and before long, the wrinkles have disappeared, unquote. Quotes here. An ever-flowing fountain of youth and beauty has at last been found in the energy rays of radium. They know it now. Radium rays vitalize and energize all living tissue. The energy has been turned into a beauty aid. Each and every radior toilette requisite, whatever that means, contains a definite quantity of actual radium. That's from a radior advertisement in 1918. The most recent um, fad type ingredient that I've heard of is snail slime. I'm going to be talking to a sales lady today. She's going to be coming to my lab and we're going to talk about snail slime. She's the snail slime, sale, snail slime sales lady, and she's a sell snail slime. We're going to talk about uh, how I can use snail slime in my products. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but it's, it's being touted as a moisturizing, anti-aging, acne, all-around, multifunctional skincare ingredient. And you know what? There's actually some scientific basis to these claims. You, there's actually some science behind the snail slime... Um, propaganda or, or publicity, I should say. The snail slime publicity. And if you haven't heard about it, you will soon. There's actually some, some uh, interesting components in snail slime. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We 
are back on the bright side, and we have lines open at 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the bright side, and we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team from brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. For a one-time $25 fee, you can start yourself a longevity business, make some money, and be your own boss. You can just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you want, all for a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470 for more info or click on the Join the Team link at PharmacistBend.com, BrightsideBend.com, CriticalHealthNews.com. Okay, we've got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here momentarily. If you're in the Sacramento area, I want to see you on June the 10th. That's this Sunday at the Orangevale Community, uh, Community Center. 11 a.m. 6826 Hazel Avenue. Call 916-712-9504. That's 916-712-9504 for more information. That's uh, or to RSVP. That's the phone number for Jay Ingalls, and he wants to talk to you. If you want to be, a, if you want to uh, come by, or you just want more information, 916-712-9504. So we're talking about uh, high hyaluronic acid and skin health and snail slime. Snail slime is actually, even though it is kind of a fad ingredient, if you haven't heard about it, you may hear, you may hear about it soon. It's, it sounds disgusting. It's not really it's not really disgusting because there's lots of slimy stuff is good for us. Slime is good. Slime is growth inducing. Slime is healing. Whether that slime is hyaluronic acid, which is slimy, whether the slime is mushrooms, which have a wonderful healing property, whether the slime is algae and seaweed, also, whether uh, fucoidin has a slimy quality, slime is actually quite healing. And the snail, the uh, uh, snail slime, the components in, in snail slime, actually have some. There's a, a good reason to believe that they would be good. The snail slime it would be uh, beneficial for the skin. The ingre- there are ingredients in snail slime that are good for you. Snail slime is loaded with connective tissue building substances, polysaccharides which is what gives things a slimy quality. Poly means many. Saccharides mean sugar. Polysaccharides have a slimy quality, and they turn on growth. Slimy substances, slimy substances heal. Slimy substances have a healing and soothing quality. They have antimicrobial qualities, anti, antibacterial qualities. They trigger growth. What makes something slimy is the polysaccharides, these long chains of sugar. Not the short chains that we eat that are sweet. When we hear the word sugar, we, we think of sugar, uh, sucrose or fructose, sweet sugars. Those are the sugars that most of us are exposed to in foods are sweet, and that's what we think of when we think of sugars. But sugars are just a general uh, uh, chemistry term. It's, it's organic chemistry is basically all the, sh- the term sugar is part of. It's like alcohol. Just because you hear the term alcohol, it's not the kind of alcohol. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the kind of alcohol that you drink. When most of us think of alcohol, we think of things that we drink. That we think of beer, and we think of alcohol, you know, vodka, alcoholic beverages. Well, alcohol is just a generic chemical term. There's fatty alcohols, sterile alcohol. It's in skincare products, acetyl alcohol. It looks like can. It looks like wax. Alcohol. There are alcohols that look like wax. There are alcohols that look, have an oily quality to them, like they look like liquid oil. And there's alcohols that are alcohol that you drink. It's just a generic term. Sugar is the same way. It's just a generic term. We hear the word sugar, we think sweet, but there are sugars that are, have no taste at all. There are sugars that are indigestible. There are sugars that are built part of your joints and part of your bones. Hyaluronic acid is a sugar. It's a long chain sugar. If you look at these long chains of sugar under uh, uh, the right, with the right detection mechanism, you need a high-powered electron microscope, scanning electron microscope, it's some kind of really high, uh, high-powered detection system, you would see a long chain of boxes. That's what these long chains of sugar are. They're boxes that are like a, like a railroad car or like a, a, like a train made up of railroad cars. Each railroad car would be like a box, except these boxes are perfectly structured symmetrically. They're balanced. It's, it, it looks just like a perfectly organized long chain of boxes. And these little boxes 
literally can hold a little piece of water, a molecule of water. And these little boxes will hold onto water in this organized way. This is why they organize water. That's what we were saying yesterday, how uh, long-chain carbohydrates like high hyaluronic acid organize water. They structure water because they themselves are structured like a, a bunch of boxes and each little, there's a little piece of water that fits into these boxes. And that gives these things amazingly important qualities. It gives them structuring qualities, organizing qualities. The, the, uh, the fact that these little boxes can hold water and that the little droplet of water, a little drop of water, molecule of water really, can fit efficiently and snugly and tightly into these little boxes can be seen visibly as swelling. That's what swelling is. When we see uh, uh, something swell from a powder into a long, gooey substance, what we're looking at is little molecular pieces of water, little molecules of water fitting into the long boxes, a long chain of boxes. And this ability to trap water uh, and hold on to water is what makes these things so magical. For one thing, it, it turns regular water into magic water, i.e. structured water, easy water. And this is the kind of water that's in our joints, it's the kind of water that's in our skin, it's the kind of water that's in our cells. There are carb th these carbohydrate molecules, by the way, are found throughout the body and, and it's the interaction between the water we drink and the water that's in our foods and, and also to a certain extent in our skin anyway, the water that's in the environment. It's the interaction between all of that water and these long chains of sugar that activates the liquid part of our body. And that includes all the liquids from the bile to the blood to our tears to our digestive juices. And this is why it's beneficial to eat slime. The more slime you eat, the easier it's going to be for the body to organize the water, to, to electrify your body. So eating slime has an electrifying effect. Eating algae, eating seaweed, eating fucoidin from your fucoid Z. So this is what makes the fucoid Z the miracle product that it is. The fucoidin and the fucoid Z activate water. Your body's 60% water, 70% water. All that water becomes activated by the fucoid Z. That's why the fucoid Z has such multiple benefits. All, all of these substances, these slimy substances, have multiple benefits because they activate the water. Mushrooms and cartilage, in addition to uh, uh, algaes and, and fucoid, there are herbs that have a slimy quality that can do that. Slippery elm is one of the great slimy herbs that will have a, has a wonderful healing effect on the, on the digestive tract. Slimy substances can build bone. Eat slime if you're worried about osteoporosis. Eat algae. Eat hyaluronic acid. Eat mushrooms. They build connective tissue in the skin. Likewise, if you don't want to get wrinkles, eat slime. Use your fucoid and Z. Use algae, use seaweed, use hyaluronic acid. Now you gotta eat the slime to get the benefits if you're gonna really build your connective tissue, if you're gonna fight wrinkles, but topically you can get some skin softening benefits from putting slime on your skin, certain kinds of slime. Hyaluronic acid, of course, we talk about that, but snail slime too, and in fact, snail slime doesn't just have hyaluronic acid in it, it's, it's largely composed of these polysaccharides, but there's other things in it too. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back with more good health information and you and your phone calls right after this. Don't go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com. Also, brightsideben.com. If you're in the Sacramento area, I want to see you Sunday, June 10th, 11 a.m. at the Orangevale Community Center, 6826 Hazel Avenue, Orangevale, California, 95662. We'll be talking about the simplicity of health. Call J at 916-712-9504. We'll also talk a little longevity as well. If you're in the business already, you definitely want to come because we'll talk some about some of the products. And if you're not in the business, but you're interested in the business, there'll be people there you can talk to about signing up or about joining the Brightside Ben team. Call 916-712-9504 for more information. Our number today, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open for you. I want to just say a few more things about snails, snail slime, topical snail slime anyway, which does have some legitimacy. It's rich in hyaluronic acid for one thing. Snail slime also has glycolic acid in it, believe it or not. That's kind of an interesting little benefit. Glycolic acid is a, 
is a anti-aging exfoliating substance. Snail slime has something in it called copper peptides. Some of you may know about copper peptides, which are uh, have been in, have been recognized as a, a a wound healing active ingredient. Antibacterial substances are in snail slime, and then of course there's the hyaluronic acid. You're not gonna you're not gonna get the really good benefits, the healing benefits, and the anti aging benefits by putting snail slime on your skin, but you can get it from eating snail slime or actually even eating snails. Escargot. And uh, if you're wondering where to get it, it's pretty easy to get escargot. You can get it at Walmart. It comes in cans. And it's rich in not just hyaluronic acid for building bone. It's also a good source of omega-3 fats. Escargot is also a great source of protein. And I have never had escargot, so I can't really say uh, what it tastes like. Although I've seen it, and it kind of looks like snail, uh, like a shrimp, sort of shrimpy, high-protein kind of kind of rubbery high protein substance there's actually something a chemical in uh, in snails a type of lectin we've heard all the bad stuff about lectin there's actually some benefits to lectins in this case there's a lectin that kills cancer breast cancer specifically and there's a lot of literature about uh, escargot as being anti breast cancer as inducing what's called apoptosis that is a an ability to kill or an ability to induce cancer cells to kill themselves. You want to, if you're going to eat, uh, if you're going to get your uh, escargot, get your omega-3s anyway from escargot, you want to make sure that you're eating free-range escargot. Yes, there's such a thing as free-range escargot, and there's uh, uh, commercial farm-raised escargot snails. Those are the ones that you get at Walmart probably. And those are fed uh, soy and fed other cereals, corn also. They're fed the cheap stuff. And, and I have never had them, but supposedly they, don't, they taste as good as the free-range stuff. The free-range snails eat, um, well, they eat not-so-nice things. They eat dead animals, basically. They eat dead things. They eat dead insects. Uh, they, they'll eat rotting stuff. They're one of the ways. They're, they're nature's cleanup crew. It's kind of like shrimp are bottom feeders, and shrimp are high protein. Same with the snails. They're bottom feeders of the ground. They eat all the dead stuff, the, the, the leaves, the rotting leaves and rotting, uh, rotting uh, uh, plants and vegetation. Um, and you have to, if you're going to cook, uh, you're going to eat your escargot, they have to uh, they get rid of the stuff that's in the, in the stomach because uh, whatever the snail eats, if the snail is eating poison substances, you can get poisoned by eating the snail. So they got to purge the stomachs before they uh, can the snails. So if you're thinking of going out there and catching your own snails, you want to make sure you clean out their, clean out their contents. But apparently, anyway, from what I've read, snails are, are pretty good for you. They're part of the Mediterranean diet, uh, French and Spanish and uh, other Portuguese, other Latin countries uh, are known for eating snails. And uh, that gets me to my story here that I want to read to you today. We'll get your calls in a second, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. Uh, this is from Reuters, Reuters Health. Mediterranean diet linked with lower incidence of advanced AMD, advanced uh, macular degeneration. I think that's what AMD stands for, advanced macular degeneration. Uh, this is from the Association of Research for Research and Vision and Ophthalmology. Higher, in, higher adherence to the Mediterranean diet was associated with a 39% reduced risk of developing macular degeneration. Well, why do you think that is? It's the pigments. The macula is a pigment-rich area in the middle of the eye. When it degenerates, it's a leading cause of blindness, one of the leading causes of blindness. Uh, eating, eating the pigments is the best way, or one of the best ways, to protect your eyes. And these are the pigments that are found in high quantities and high concentrations in the Mediterranean diet. But the Mediterranean diet does something else. It doesn't just, it's not just a pigment diet. It's not just a diet where you get a lot of pigments. You also get oils with the pigments. And the oils pull the pigments out. And this is where oils have play a, a really important role in health, even though I know all about the problems associated with oils. Okay, I'm not oblivious to the issues associated with oils. It's true that uh, oils are unstable and you got to be careful with your oils. But you know what? Oils will also pull out the pigments and the phytonutrients from the lettuce and from the eggplant and from the tomatoes, especially from the tomatoes, all of which... Uh, will make these oils, these uh, uh, phytonutrients, these oil-soluble phytonutrients, more available for your eyes for helping with macular degeneration. Oh, yeah, because the eyes are very similar to the skin from a biological standpoint. It also helps you with, uh, protect your skin from the sun. 
It also helps protect your skin from sunburn. It also helps you protect your skin from skin cancer. It also helps protect your skin from, uh, uh, and from aging, from wrinkles, from all of the visible signs of aging, including dark spots that we all hate about our skin. The combination of oils plus pigments. You have to be careful with your oils. I'm not saying go crazy eating lots of oils. I'm saying use them, use them carefully. Make sure they're fresh. Make sure they're kept in a cold, dark place. And make sure you're not heating them. Use it fresh and use it cold. Put it on top of your, uh, put it on top of your salads. It'll help pull out some of, the, some of those nutrients. Or you can braise or steam uh, with a little bit of oil. Steam your, steam your veggies and then put a little bit of oil at the end. Don't cook with the oil, however. All right, one more, and then we'll get your calls, 844-236-6010. This is uh, from Medscape Medical News. Fit, uh, fitness can't counteract fat in heart attack study. Physical activity does not offset the risk for myocardial infarction. That's a heart attack that comes with excess body weight. New analysis from uh, the Tom's, the Trome study suggests that's because fat is pro-inflammatory. Fat makes inflammatory chemicals, and heart disease is an inflam inflammatory issue. Heart disease is not about cholesterol, people. I know I say it every other day, practically, but yeah, I got to keep saying it. Heart disease is not about cholesterol. It's an inflammatory issue. It's a deterioration of the heart tissue and the circulatory system tissue. It's a breakdown in the connective tissue. It's not about cholesterol. And the more body fat you're carrying, the more likely you are to uh, inflame, and the more likely it's going to be that your connective tissue deteriorates. Inflammation accelerates the deterioration. Long-term inflammation accelerates the deterioration of tissue. So you can be, you can be running and jumping and, and lifting weights and getting on the treadmill, and you can still drop dead of a heart attack if you're carrying too much body fat, largely because body fat is pro-inflammatory. It secretes inflammatory chemicals. It's actually, a, you know, your body fat is actually a gland and it secretes hormones, inflammatory hormones. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with your phone calls. Got lines open, 844-236-6010. You're listening to The Bright Side. Don't go away. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open, 844-236-6010 is our number. And uh, time to hit the phones. Let's go to Jim in Colorado. Good morning. What's going on, Jim? Good morning. How's it going, hey, buddy? I saw you. We talked uh, in Longmont when you're in Longmont. Oh yeah. Hey, Jim. Uh, you're, you're the engineer. ERP, to jar your uh, memory. There. Yeah, I remember. You're the engineer, right? Right. Uh, how's the P How's the PRP working for you? Well, the, I, I've just got a lot of inflammation. I'm getting, you know, my skin is really deteriorating. All the wrinkles and everything. That's, you know, I've got wrinkles all over me. Okay. And. Uh, I look like I've aged probably 10 years in the last year. Okay. But uh, what I wanted to ask you about, Ben, was uh, uh, chiropractor Hager over in Longmont there told me after I, he looked at all the blood tests that I, I told you, you know, I spent a grand on a lot of that stuff. And um, he said I have three times the iron in my blood that I should have. He was really worried about that, how it affected my heart. You tell him I said that's three nonsense. That's Total nonsense. I'll tell you why. First of all, yes, iron can be a problem. It oxidizes and it's pro-aging and pro-cancer. But the problem isn't the iron. The problem is your cells are breaking down and your body's not processing the iron. This is why I have problems with the tests. It's, they're the ways ignorant, biochemically ignorant healthcare professionals try to figure out what's going on in your body. If you understand biochemistry, you don't need a test. Your body's falling apart, Jim. Period. You understand what I'm saying? Tell them I said right. this. It has nothing to do with the iron. The iron is a byproduct of the deterioration of your body. If you try to target the iron, this is what healthcare professionals will do. They'll do a test, and then they'll, they'll, they'll see the numbers, and they'll target the numbers. It's dumb. Mm -hmm. that's, what allows you, that's what allows people to be drugged because they say, oh, well, you got, we'll, we'll just uh, give you a drug. We know it, it, it lowers your glucose, or we know it raises your uh, HDL, and we know HDL is associated, blah, blah, blah. These are markers. Do you ever hear the saying, the map is not the territory? You ever hear anybody right. say that? Map is not yep. the territory. That's from linguistics. There's a guy, a, a, a linguistics um, a PhD guy uh, named Albert Korbitsky who came out, who uh, wrote a bunch of stuff in the early 20th century. One of his ideas is the map is not the territory. That is, the words are not the thing. 
the word orange, O-R-A-N-G, is not an orange. It's a representative, a representation of an orange. We get confused by the words. We, read, we try to eat the menu. The iron is a marker. It's a sign. It's a sign that your liver's not working correctly and your cells are dying. That's the, that, but we don't want to treat the iron. The problem's not the iron. Okay. Uh, now, so what do uh, I treat? What, I've told you a million times. To, uh, not a million times. I've told you a dozen times. Okay? When your body is breaking down to the extent that yours is breaking down, and you're an engineer, and so to me, the fact that you don't get this, Jim, with all due respect, is because you don't want to get it. Because you're an engineer. You of all people should get this, because what we're talking about here is reverse engineering. You know what I'm talking about, right? When I say reverse engineering? Reverse mm -hmm. engineering is when you take a something and you go backwards to see yeah, what's causing that. it. We reverse engineer. That's all I do in this program every day is I reverse engineer. We reverse engineer the, the, uh, the, the, the disease process. And, and by the way, iron can be a problem on its own. So there is a you know, chelating iron or uh, uh, somehow maybe giving, away, uh, giving blood or somehow get lowering your iron levels. There could be some benefits to that. But the problem right. isn't the iron. The problem yeah, okay. is why, you know, you see what I'm saying. So your skin, yeah, what I do you have? I, okay. I have okay, so to, let's go back okay. again. Let, let me just go back again. And for the listeners, Jim had uh, a very, a very severe dermatitis, as I recall. Am I correct, Jim? Almost like it, it was like the, the surface of your skin was, was like alligator skin. It was very dry and crinkly and, and, and dehydrated. Is that right? I'm, yeah, I'm going by memory. Yeah, lesions. Lesions, lesions, all over my lesions all over. What you're experiencing is an uh, immune attack on your skin, on the connective tissue. The connective right. tissue is breaking down following an immune system attack. How does the okay. immune system, why does the immune system turn on itself? Well, the immune system is designed to get rid of foreign invaders and damage tissue. All right? So you ha there's something going on in your blood that's delivering foreign invaders to the skin and damaging the tissue, the connective tissue specifically. You have to have joint problems, too, because it's the same thing, correct? Uh, no. Uh, then you got to, there, ha there has to be some kind of connective tissue problems going on. If, and, and there has to be joint problems anyway. You, you're well, like I've, your lost, uh, I've lost so much uh, connective tissue. Like, you know, you have a, like a padding on your skull between the skin and yeah. the skull, the bone. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you got uh, that's pretty extra much pack. gone. I mean, I've this thing has attacked my scalp like I can't believe. Right, I've that's what I'm saying to you. So for you to tell me you don't have joint problems, it can't be, because your connective tissue is deteriorating. It doesn't just deteriorate in your skin. It doesn't just deteriorate in your in your skull or in your head. It it deteriorates universally, globally, systemically, which is why you have to have joint problems, whether you know it or not. Your joints have to be deteriorating. You can't just have deterioration in okay. one part of the connective tissue. You with me? Yeah, you because know, a lot of my, like, on the inside of my thighs, it's getting hollowed out looking, you know. I mean, it's, you know. You're I breaking down. Yeah, You're right. breaking down. You're deteriorating, that's apart. all. So, you, <laughs> yeah, but Jim, listen, number one, I, I, it's good to have, a, it's good to have an attitude, you know, a good attitude about it. I understand. It's okay to laugh about it. But it's not good because you're going to be suffering needlessly. Yeah. And it has, it's yeah. not the iron. And so you, he's concerned about the iron. Tell the doctor that your body, that you talk to, the, talk to me, and I said, your body's breaking down. So what you've got to do is you've got to start rebuilding. Number one, you start at the gut level. Why? Because when the connective tissue breaks down, it's going to break down in the gut. It's, and that's going to cause stuff to leak into the blood. That's called leaky gut right. syndrome, which you absolutely positively have to be dealing with. So you want to start patching up the gut with anything you can think of, the slimy substances, gelatin, algae, probiotics, uh, the amino acid glutamine, uh, short-chain fatty acids like butyric acid and uh, also acetic acid from apple cider vinegar, uh, high aluronic acid, bone broth protein. Bone broth protein. I'm drinking bone broth right now. Like it's going out of style. Drink it like it's going out. It's all you should be drinking on, living on. Eggs, uh, organ meats, protein, essential fatty acids. Uh, it's endless the ways we can build connective tissue. And here's the thing, Jim. You're just experiencing a dramatic deterioration of it, but it's happening to me. It's happening to all of us. This is how we age. You're just doing it at an accelerated pace, and it's a shame. It's tragic because ultimately you're going to dissolve into a puddle, and not literally. You're not going to literally dissolve into a puddle, but your body's going to break down so significantly that you're going to be suffering. When the body breaks right. down, we suffer. Okay, so it's just, it's, tra it's tragic, and I, I hope it doesn't happen to you. Glucosamine also, by the way, glucogel caps, vitamin C uh, is also important. Exercise, okay. 
build connective tissue through exercise. The combination of exercise and nutrition is really the best way to make sure you're building connective tissue. And then don't underestimate all the psychological, spiritual, and mental and emotional sides of it too. Remember, what you're experiencing is exactly what I'm experiencing. Or, and most of us are experiencing after a certain age, you're just doing it at a dramatic pace. So what you I'm want to think, fast track. you're on the fast track, exactly. And that's what we don't want to have happen. It's, we want to slow that down, ultimately reverse it, and it all begins with the gut. I didn't even talk about the blood sugar system, but that's got to be stabilized as well. But it all begins with the gut. And that's the way you simplify things. This is for everybody out there suffering with multiple system problems where your body's just falling apart. They actually call it multiple system organ failure, MSOF, because basically or multiple, multiple organ failures, something along those lines, where the body just breaks down. Everything falls apart, and you don't know what to, to, where, to, where to approach it. You don't know what strategy to use. Do you take care of your skin? Do you take care of your heart? Do you take care of your joints? Do you take care of your, your gut? Do you take care of the diarrhea? Do you take care of the vision problems? Where do you work? You start with the gut. You start with the digestive system. Number one, because without, uh, if your digestive system is breaking down, toxicity is going to get into the blood, and that's going to accelerate things. And number two, if the digestive lining breaks down, you can't absorb your nutrients as effectively, yep. so you're starving. You're malnourished. Yeah, I kind of think that's what's going on. I, I'm not absorbing like I should. I'm sure. I am taking uh, so a lot of the longevity products, you know. I'm sure you're not, because the gut is based in, the lining of the gut is connective tissue. And if, if, uh, if you're not... Um, if the gut line starts to break down, you don't absorb your food as well. So yes, so that is restorable. Then you can restore. Absolutely, but you got to begin now. You got to begin now. Don't waste any time, Jim. I'm out of time, buddy. I got to go. But I hope I helped you. I mean, I know we talk periodically, and I feel bad that that you're still dealing with this because it's not that difficult, and you're making it okay. more difficult than you, than it should be. Don't overthink this. Don't okay. overthink. All right, buddy. Good Thanks. to talk to you, Jim. Have a great day, man. All right. Yeah, that's the problem is we overthink. And the smarter we are, the more we overthink. Smart people really overthink. Don't overthink. If your body's falling apart, return to the basics. K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, simple. Go back to the basics. The gut is the basics. Then you go to the blood sugar system, and then you calm the body down. That's as simple as that, folks. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. If you're in the Sacramento area, I want to see you Sunday, June the 10th. Sunday, June the 10th at the Orangevale Community Center, 6826 Hazel Avenue in Orangevale, California. Call 916-712-9504 for more information. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Registered.